hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm asha b a youtuber based in nigeria if you're new to my channel guys please don't forget to subscribe and if you're not new welcome back so today i'll be teaching you how to cut this beautiful dress diana wore and it's a two-piece dress it's so gluey and it's so attractive so i felt it was perfect to bring on youtube now the first thing i'll do is to trace out my basic bodice pattern it's a size six block i'm using in this video i'm just going to trace it out like i do in all my videos so i'm going to mark out all the points and now i'm going to do the labeling i'm labeling the chest point the breast point the um shoulder dot basically everywhere that matters now I'm actually trying to um, eliminate the shoulder dart. If you do not know how to eliminate shoulder dart, please check out my video on how to eliminate that. There are really, really um, detailed videos on that right there. Just check out my video and I'll put the link in the description of this video. Now I'm just going to label that part to, like to show that I've actually eliminated the dart. So right now, I'm just going to measure the depth of the neck in this video I used nine and a half because I'm not so busty so I just felt so I want something that would be a little bit relaxed on my skin so I just used the hip curve to cover out the sweetheart and I'm just going to mark out the shoulder that back using the same point that was there before not because I actually need it, but I just felt it made it easy for me to measure certain parts. So I'm just going to measure the sweetheart line and I'm going to divide the line into two and measure 1.3 centimeters on both sides and crease it in. 1.3 works for only size six. I'll actually add the measurements for other body sizes in the description of this video. So um, I'm just going to use the French curve to curve it out and my hip curve, my hip curve to blend it. I'm just basically going to cut it. That's just the part I need. So I'm just going to cut it. I'm doing the labeling. I'm just labeling the straight gain, green, the side seam, and that's all. So I'm just going to trace the greeny part of the dress. And I'm going to just blend it out and cut. Just cutting through. Now, after cutting, I will start to mark using four centimeters as like the space that I'll use to reach the dress. So because this the dress is not too rich so i'm just going to use four centimeters because i just want a little bit of details on my own now i labeled my own um using numbers one to 14 it was actually 14 pieces after i did it so i'm just going to arrange it using the numbers it's just going to make it easy for me to arrange the pieces without getting to miss any piece so i'm just going to arrange it carefully and neatly spacing it with only two centimeters i'm just going to space it with two centimeters just take note that when you're spacing your rich dress make sure you're using the same space throughout so i'm using two centimeters throughout this um particular video i know you can't see me measuring it now in the video but i actually measured it after i arranged the rich dress the the pieces so you can see me with the tape I'm just trying to check the measurements and to be sure that I'm actually doing the right thing so I'm still just marking through making sure everything is correct because it, it's a very very technical part as simple as it looks it's really really technical so you have to be very careful so that you don't get to have excess and you don't get to lose the shape of the dress you're trying to make i'm just arranging it using two centimeters like i actually said before you can see my numbers i just numbered them 1 to 14 just arranging them according to number if you don't number your paper 
if you are reaching a dress and you don't know by it or you're reaching anything i don't know by it you're actually going to lose the pieces along the line because some pieces look alike so but when you know by it it makes it easy for you to get what you're doing quite faster and very very um easy for you to do now i'm just tracing the edges busy hair just tracing it from the highest um edge to another high edge throughout the video so now i'm just going to blend through the edges because it's going to be a little bit rough after tracing i'm just going to blend through I'm just going to curve just going to curve it through my hip curve to the end I'm just curving it through I'm going to flip it to the other side because of my waist you can see my waist is so snatched so I'm just going to curve it through and I straighten that part because of the that's the lower part of the body and it's actually straight now i'm adding the www on the side seam because it's actually a rich dress you can see me writing rich dress a two-piece rich dress two-piece you can see it i'm writing the straight grain the side seam so yes i almost forgot to tell you guys that the pencil i used in this video is from nataraj they actually have nice um, pencils and drawing materials like they have really nice quality stuff you guys can buy from them if you're a pattern craft maker now basically i'm just cutting the lower part out i'm just cutting it out so that's all for the reached um dress for the lower part now we're moving to the upper part i don't know why i lost the clip um that i was where i was reading the lines the way I did on the skirt the part where I wrote four um, centimeters here for the upper part I did made it two centimeters because the upper part you can notice that it is fuller and it is more detailed than the lower part so I made it two centimeters and I'll also be spacing it using it two centimeters so I'm basically taking all my time to cut through you can notice the bolt from the um up so i'm just cutting through cutting through till the end and also don't forget to number just the way i numbered for this kit i numbered the upper part too so because i don't i didn't want to miss any piece and you also do not want to miss any piece when you're making your own um dress so you're just going to cut it out that way So I'll just take it over a time. I move this video slow a little bit so you guys can see how I cut it and so after cutting I just I'm just going to arrange the way I did this cut. I'm going to arrange it, take all my time to arrange according to the numbers. I'm just going to arrange it on the paper. This is each piece according to their numbers and I'm going to just do the same thing I did for the lower part. I don't know why I keep calling it skirt for the lower part. So I'm just going to arrange it through and then I'm just going to trace it out. I didn't find the clip where I traced it out also but nothing spoiled. We we'll still we we'll still upload the video like that. As long as you guys saw the way I did it the lower part. So you're just going to follow the same um, process and to help you get what you want to do so you're just going to trace it out and then you sharpen it with using your tools uh, depending on how the curve is you use your ruler to sharpen the lower part you can use your um ammo core to sharpen the ammo area and then you can use your pattern master to just do the upper part because of the sweetheart at the middle of the um, bust area and that's basically all for this dress 
you guys will just see it how it looks when I am done with it now so we're just going to um, do the edges so now this is how it looks you can see the upper part is exaggerated like it's bigger than um, my under bust my round under bust but it doesn't really matter because it's actually going to be gathered so when you're sewing this or when you're stitching this you just make sure that it keeps stitching with two centimeters depending on what you use may i work with centimeters but depending on what you use you just use the same thing you're using throughout so i find centimeters easy to work with because they are easy to divide and it's, it's just easy to divide and easy to calculate so that's basically all for this video if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to drop a nice comment about the video don't forget to share and subscribe i love you Cause I'm not in the feeling to touch me and be in the sea what I see in the typical. Messing around with it makes 